Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you remember the last video that I did, we had a quick delve into the shaping tab, uh, which we can see down here. If you're not seeing that video yet and you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, just take a look in the top right there where you'll be able to see a link to that particular video. And I did give a little spoiler, a little promise at the end of that, that in the next video, this video, that we were going to start creating a few unique uh, characters uh, based on the shape and tab and some things that we can do in there but I'm not going to be messing around and playing around with nose shapes and ear shapes I'm going to do it really simple and show you how you can do it yourself very easily uh, in your own copy of Daz over here on this uh, on the viewport that you've got you can see I've got a bit of a crazy setup here we've got the main viewport down here showing three models uh, and up here we've got the headshots of each individual model uh, this model is Joan 9 this is the base Genesis 9 uh, female model that, that we get and this over here is Victoria now what you might notice by them all that they're all identical other than the faces that you can see they've all got the same hair all got the same body shapes even when the same bikini albeit different colors uh, and the important thing is that we're really going to focus on is just these three shots up to up top here where we're showing off the individual faces now if we were to come up and give the left model a click this model is Joan as we can see if we give her a little click and just come down onto the shape and tab for a moment and then click on currently used we can see that the only sliders that are in place there are the Joan 9 head the Victoria 9 body and this mouth realism uh, slider that we've got there again if we come across to the right model uh, we'll be able to see that this is I'll just select it correctly that this is Victoria we've got the Victoria 9 head Victoria 9 body again and the mouth realism uh, at that 100 also and then if we click on the middle model uh, click on currently used we can see that the only thing that's been applied is the Victoria 9 body and the mouth realism but no head slider and this is why we're getting the Genesis 9 base head now what we're going to do in this video is we're going to give Joan over here and Victoria 9 over here, a love child. Well, what we're going to do, we're just going to blend the two heads together in this central, uh, this central screen here, the central viewport, and we're going to create a unique character based on these two characters that we've got. It's very simple, very easy. All we need to do is we, we make sure that the, the middle model is selected, as you can see there. And if we were to come up and we were to type in Joan into the little filter box, if, I, if it connects uh just give her a little click into joan and click on all we can see all the sliders that are associated with joan that are on my system and that's very important if you don't have joan you won't be able to do it exactly with joan you'll have to do this with another model that you've got installed but here you can see joan nine head right here so if i give that a click and what i'm going to do i'm just going to apply 50 percent of the joan nine head slider to the Genesis base Genesis 9 slider that we've got up here in the middle viewport and I'm going to click return and once all my screen has updated you can see that the Genesis 9 base model in the center here has changed it's not looking as as basic as what she did previously and that's because we've got 50 percent of the head slider from Joan here now applied to that center model already she's looking pretty unique but we're going to do that a little bit further again and what we're going to do this time as i'm going to up in the filter box over in the shape and tab there i'm going to replace joan with victoria so we're looking at all the sliders that i've got and only filtering out the ones of victoria and as you can see there there's the victoria nine head it's currently at zero again i'm just going to put a 50 in there and i'm going to click return and so now that everything is updated as you can see we've applied the victoria 9 head 50 percent of it we can see now that we've got a blend of joan 9 and victoria 9 in our middle model there where before that there was the uh, base genesis 9 model now a couple of things that you need to bear in mind if you're doing this ideally if we just click on the middle model sorry by the way click on the used 
uh, and get rid of the Victoria. We can see on there we've got the Dual 9 and the Victoria 9 both at 50% now on those head sliders. In an ideal world, you want those sliders to add up to 100%. Uh, you don't have to. You can go up to 75% or you can go up to 125, maybe 150 if you wish. But ideally, you want to, if you're going to be blending these models, you ideally you want the, the sliders to add up, add up to 100%. If you go too far above 100%, you might start getting some weirdness taking place and the model might turn into something you'll see in a horror film but get them to add up to about 100% with a little bit of leeway either side and you should be absolutely fine uh, you know we've gone 50-50 there I could have went 75% Joan or 25% Victoria or vice versa or a, a mixture of however I wanted the second thing that you need to bear in mind is that you don't have to stick to just two models you can do three, you can do five, you can do eight. What I'm going to have a do now, because it takes a while for the screens to update, I'm going to play around, I'm going to add some more blending of, of different models into it, and we're going to have a look at the result at the end, and we'll see what the head shapes show uh, down here when I've completed it. So what will only be a moment for you, I'll come back when, I, when I've sorted all this out, and we'll have a take a look at what we've got. And so after a short while of playing around with the sliders that uh, I have installed on my system, this is what we've come up with my little unique model uh, and I've done so as you can see over here uh, on the currently used sliders I've got I've done so using these sliders that you can see here now I kept Joan at 50% because she had a little bit of a unique look and I wanted to to build it around that unique look that Joan has Victoria I dropped down to 20% as you can see there uh, I've added Van Helsing into 20% and then I've had a couple of little extras in there just at 10% just to add a little bit of variety into it you'll also notice I've added Joan's HD details on there to 100% and I've also cranked up the sub d uh high res resolution on there as well if you don't know what that is there's a video up in the top right which you'll be able to check out uh to get high resolution models and like i said this is the finished result a little unique model based off these sliders that i have in the shape and uh section that you can see there now as i mentioned earlier if you don't have these models joan 9 or van helsen or whatever you won't be able to recreate this exactly because it's only based on what models you have installed in your system but uh you'll be able to take what you have and just combine them in any way that you want to create a little unique model that only you probably will be using in your own images uh there is a slight restriction you can only use gen model gen 9 sliders on genesis 9 characters gen 8 sliders on gen 8 models and gen 3 models you can't cross uh cross contaminate if you want so you can't put gen 9 sliders and mix a gen 9 slider with a gen 8 slider but follow those simple rules try and get them adding up to 100 around about 100 i think i've gone about 110 there about 120 maybe no 110 uh, keep it within that range of between 75 and, and 125 when they're added up and you can end up creating a whole bunch of unique models that only you will be using in your own renders and nobody else will be using them thanks for watching that's how simple it is if you've got something out of this video then please give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already any questions just drop them down below in the comment section and i'll answer them as soon as i possibly can so thanks for watching unique characters i'll catch you next time bye bye now